Hey everyone, it's Sarah at Repeat Crafter Me, and I'm gonna show you how to do corner to corner crochet using half double crochet stitches. We're gonna work on this cute little tulip pattern, and I am using Red Heart Super Savory yarn. Um, for this one, I'm gonna use purple for my flower. You could make your tulips in any color. This is medium purple. This is spring green. That's gonna be for the stem and leaves. And then I'm using lemon yellow for the background. Now I know you're also gonna to wanna to download this graph because we're gonna be working off the graph. I know that I'm going to need um, different strands for the background. So I've already rolled some of my yarn into balls. This is gonna make it easier and you'll see as I get going here how this works. All right, so I kind of just want to dive right in because this may take a while. Um, grab your size H crochet hook. Again, download the graph. I have a pen because I'm going to mark off my little pixels in my graph as we go. So here's the deal. Corner to corner crochet. Uh, you typically work from a graph like this and it's called corner to corner because you're going to start in one corner and you're going to end in the other corner. So we're going to start by making this one square and that one square is made up of a chain two and three half double crochets. Okay, so here's my first little square here and it all matches right up to that. All right, so grab your hook. Let's get started. We're going to start with our background color, which is yellow. This is the first square we're making. And to do that, you're gonna make a slip knot on your hook and you're gonna chain five. One, two, three, four, five, okay? Now in the third chain from hook, we're gonna make a half double crochet. And we're gonna make a half double crochet in the next two chains. One, two, and we have our first little pixel square there. This is corner number one. Okay, one pixel square. Done with our first little row there. All right, and this is made up of a chain two and three half double crochet stitches. All right, so now let's work on the next one. All right, and for the next one, we have one, two, one, two squares. So we're gonna increase. These are called increase um, squares. So we're gonna chain five again. All right, half double crochet in that third chain from hook, half double crochet in the next two. We have our second box. But what you need to do is you need to connect it to your first. So we're gonna basically turn our work. All I'm really doing, since it's so small, I'm just flipping it over and I'm joining to that chain two from that first block, first little pixel block, okay? And then I'm gonna chain two. I'm gonna make three half double crochets. So yay, look at that. We have our first two rows. All right, so next one, two, three. I'm just kind of working back and forth. You could have gone the other way too. All you need to do is make sure you have the right count, okay? So I know I need three, three of these little pixel square boxes, okay? So we're increasing, we're gonna chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Half double crochet in that third chain, half double crochet in the next, and in the next. Now remember we gotta turn Join to that chain. Now let's make another little box. Chain two and make three half double crochets. Okay, that's our little middle box there. So I know I need one more. I'm joining to that next chain. Chain two, three half double crochets. Okay, we're just making our way along. All right, the next one, we have one, two, three, four boxes, pixel square boxes. So I'm going to chain five, okay? 
same idea, half double crochet in that third chain, half double crochet in that next two. Okay, turn that work, join to that little chain two space, chain two and make three half double crochets for your second little pixel box. Okay, how many do I need? I need four. We're joining to that next chain. Chain two, three half double crochets. Joining to that last spot. Chain two, three half double crochets. Okay, easy peasy so far. Now look, our next row here, we have one in yellow, then we have one, two, three in green, and then we have one in yellow at the end. So this is the point where I'm gonna wanna join in a new strand because your yellow strand is gonna continue this way and you're gonna have another yellow strand of yarn that's gonna continue up this way. So it's just easier if you have it attached in two spots. So let's get started. So I'm gonna start here. One, two, three, four, five. Do those half double crochets. Okay, turn the work. Now we have to switch to green. So we're gonna grab our green. Let me get some slack there. Okay, I'm gonna leave this attached, just leave this hanging down. Join in to that chain two with a slip stitch. Okay, chain two and make your three half double crochets. Okay, so that's what it looks like. We have one and then we have our next green. Now we need two more greens for a total of three. Okay, so I make those chain twos, three half double crochets. Now let's do that one more time. Join, chain two, three half double crochets. Now I know our last square needs to be a yellow. So this is where I'm gonna join in another strand. Let me just get that out here, okay? So I'm gonna join that in, leave your green strand attached, just let it hang down. You're gonna pick that back up, chain two, make those three half double crochets. Oop. My little loose end got caught in there. Okay. So it's looking like our graph. Okay, next row. We have one yellow, one, two, three greens, one, two yellows. All right, so let's get started. So I just have my yellow strand that I just attached. We're going to make one little pixel box there by chaining five, making those half double crochets. We have three. Turn our work. Okay, now we're switching to green, so just let that hang down. Pick up the green, it's still attached. It's very easy just to pull it right over Okay, slip stitch in to attach that green, chain two, make those three half double crochets. Now I need two more of these green squares. So I'm just gonna continue on. Okay. There's my three green. Now we have two yellows. So remember we had that yellow strand. Yes, your yarn will get a little tangly here, it's okay. Okay, so we have our strand hanging out there. 
from the previous row, I'm just gonna pull it in to join, leave your green attached, chain two, make those three half double crochets, join to that last, chain two, three half double crochets. Okay, there we go. Just like to pull those ends tight, everything's still attached. Let's go on to the next row. We have one, two, three, four in yellow. We have one, two in green, one in yellow. All right, so you're working in this motion. So we ended here, this is your next one. Gotta go back down the other way. Okay, so let's chain five, we're increasing. Half double crochets. Turn our work. Connect. Chain two, three half double crochets. Still working with this yellow. We're gonna do that two more times, except for I wanna show you a little trick. Okay, I know I'm gonna need to pick up my green down here. And I know it's attached to that previous row. This is just a little trick I do because I don't wanna, I don't wanna have um, too many loose ends. So I know I need one more in yellow, but I'm gonna kind of hold my green strand up here and crochet over it with this yellow. Just holding it up here. I'm crocheting over it. One, two, three half double crochets. And now it's ready for me can drop your yellow and it's ready for me to attach up here. And you really can't see it. When your project's all said and done, you can't really tell that you carried it up over that green space. So I joined in that green, make your two, chain two. Oop, I don't need to carry my yellow in there. Chain two and those three half double crochets. Okay. So I have one, two, three, four, yellow, one, I need one more green to make two. And now we've come to the end. I'm going to join in, drop the green, join in that strand at the bottom there of my yellow for that last little pixel box. Okay, looking good so far, right? Let's go to our next row. We have one, two in yellow, one, two in green, one, two, three, four in yellow. All right. So we're gonna start by doing that increase, which is a chain five, making those half double crochets. Turn and join. I need one more little box there in yellow. And now we're going to join in our green yarn, Just pull it over the top there. Okay, let that rest. Join in your green, chain two. What did I say, two greens? Make that chain two and have three half double crochet. Join to the next, chain two, three half double crochet. Now we're gonna join in our yellow strand, it's still hanging out there from the previous row. And we're gonna make four of these, drop your green yarn, let it hang down. Okay, let's do another one. And another one. And one more. Ah. OK, 
Okay. Let's see what's up next. I think this one might be our most complicated row because of the amount of color changes. So we're going to start with two yellow. Now we're going to add in our purple, two of those, one green. We go all the way over here to one yellow. And here's where I'm going to start a new strand because I can already tell I don't have one from the previous row hanging around. We're going to have one more green. And then we're going to finish with two yellows and we're going to get to this corner. We're going to talk about that when we get there. All right. So let's just do this together. One, two, three, four, five for our increase. We're going to do those half double crochets. We're going to turn our work. We're going to do another block in yellow. And then I'm going to grab my purple and I'm going to join it in. Just like we did with the green, you're going to slip stitch it in to join. You're going to let that yellow hang down, chain two, and make those three half double crochets. Just kind of pull your ends tight if you feel like it's getting loose. Okay. Now let's join to the next and do that one more time because we need two purple squares. One, two, three. Okay, now we have a green. Okay, so I'm pulling the green up. Letting that purple hang. Chain two. Three half double crochets. Okay, now I want to show you something. We can actually clip this off. There's no more greens up here. Okay, so that was that last green I'm gonna do. And then the only reason I'm really clipping this off now is because I know I'm gonna have to reattach it right here. And I need that strand. Okay, now, like I mentioned before, we have a strand of yellow here. We have a strand of yellow up here. I don't have one right here and I know I'm gonna have to do a green here. So this is why I had that, is it here? Where is it? I have a third little ball, another strand. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna join this in, okay? Chain two, one, two, three. And now we gotta go back to green, okay? So I'm gonna join that in. Two, three, okay? So I'm gonna lay it down so you guys can see. So you finished your stem, and now working on that side of the leaf. I have that strand of yellow, so I'm gonna bring it over, chain two, make those three half double crochets, make one more, because I know I have two yellows that need to be done. This is the last one of this row. Now I wanna show you something. We have now come to this corner. Okay, see there's, there's no more pixel squares coming this way. This is it. Okay, so we're not going to do, this tells me I'm not doing an increase because I don't want another box sitting next to it. This is the end. This is a corner. So I'm going to turn my work. I'm not going to increase. I'm not going to chain five. You can actually chain one just to maybe easier to get over. And I'm going to slip stitch in those three stitches along the edge. Actually, it's about two, and then your third one's gonna be right there in that chain. Okay, so I'm in my chain, and I can chain two and make three half double crochets. Okay. So that was the corner, and that's the stitch on top. So let's um, count these two. So we have one, two, and we just made this one square. It wasn't an increase. It didn't go this way, it went on top. Okay, because this needs to be an edge. We're gonna do one green, one yellow, one, two, three purple, one, two yellow. We haven't gotten to this corner yet, so we're still gonna increase on this side. 
and now we're we're decreasing. This is not an increased stitch, okay? So I slip stitched over until I got to that chain, and then I did the chain two and three half double crochets. Let's do, now let's join, because we're in our usual row here. Chain two, three half double crochets. Okay, let's pull up that green yarn, join, chain two, three half double crochets, all right, now good thing I added in that yarn here because we're just gonna pull up that yellow from the previous row. Chain two, three half double crochets. Where are we? See, this is why you always gotta refer back. Okay, purple, three purples. So look, I have my purple strand. Going to slip stitch that over, join with that chain, chain two three half double crochets. Okay, sometimes you just gotta pull your ends tight if they look like they're getting loose. Okay, so that was one. Let's do another one. One more. Okay drop the purple. I have this yellow attached up here. So let's join that in and do our final two little pixel blocks of this row. One, two, one, two, three. Okay. Now, remember what I said, we still have one more row here. So this is still an increase row. This we started decreasing. Decreasing was just slip stitching over, but we still have one more increase, okay? So we're gonna do two yellow, one, two, three, four purple, one yellow, one green, one yellow. Lots of color changes kind of right in the middle there. All right, so increase, chain five, and this is gonna be our corner block. Let's make those half double crochet stitches. Turning my work. Joining. Chain two. Make those three half double crochets. Okay, now let's do our four in purple. So you can see this is our corner. This stitch is this right here. And when we get back up, we're gonna be doing the decrease. So chain two, one, two, and three. Let's go to the next. Here's where you're gonna have a lot of strands to kind of deal with. Fortunately, this project is pretty small. So um, the chances of it really tangling up and getting annoying uh, is probably not gonna happen, but try and keep them all attached because look, we already have some ends to weave in and you don't wanna create more than you need to. A lot of people use bobbins, helps to keep the yarn organized. All right, so that was four. And the purple, now I'm switching to that yellow strand. Okay, now I'm switching to green. Lots of little color switches, but here's the good part. One, two, and then three half double crochets. See that green one? That was our last green. We can fasten off our green yarn and say sayonara to it <laughs> so we don't have to worry about it getting tangled, okay? 
Be sure and leave kind of a long end like this so you can weave it in. You don't want your corner to corner crochet coming unraveled. Okay, and now we're gonna end with one yellow, okay? So join in, make those two chains and three half double crochets. Now we're just gonna join to that chain, but I'm not gonna increase, okay? You see we're at an edge here? An increase would be the chain five. That would make no sense, okay? We are gonna turn our work and we're gonna slip stitch right up the side. Make that last join right there in that chain. Chain two, come on, and make those three half double crochets. Sorry, my paper keeps moving around here. So that was this, I just made this one. Now we have one, two, three yellow, one, two, three, four purple, one yellow at the end. Okay, so I just made one, joining. Okay, that was the second one. Let's join. Okay, there's three. Now let's go to our, drop that one. Let's go to our purple. Ooh, here I wanna show you this too. So see how we had something attached here and we had a strand of yellow attached here? We can now clip this off because we're only gonna use one strand going forward. So this strand is no longer being used. So I'm gonna get rid of that too. The less strands you have attached, the less tangling you will have. So I'm trying to figure out where that was and I just wanna get this out of there too. All right, sorry, back to the, back to the purple. Okay, so let's do our three half double crochets. Okay, that was our first purple block. Next one. Next one. And one last purple. Okay, now we have one more in a yellow. One, two. If these corners are confusing you, just make sure you're counting. Look, I only have one more and I'm gonna attach it and I'm not gonna go ahead and make another one. At this point, I'm at the top. I only made one last one and I'm gonna turn and I'm gonna slip stitch over. Okay, so it looks like that. I'm just gonna lay it down so you guys can see it. Okay, one, two, one, two, here are those four. Let's go ahead and count our boxes. So we're gonna have one, two in yellow, one, two, three in purple, one, two in yellow. And we are now decreasing on both sides. We're slip stitching over and we're not doing that chain five. Okay, so those chain twos, three half double crochet. Let's do it again, except for, I can already see I'm gonna need this purple strand. So kind of as we did before, I'm just gonna let it, I'm gonna crochet over it so I can use it in a minute. So I'm just kind of holding it there. All right. Chain two. two, three, dropping that yellow. I have my purple strand. Okay, join, chain two, one, two, and three. All right, we need two more purples for a total of three. Okay, now we have two, 
little blocks in yellow. This just gets easier and easier as you decrease because you have less boxes to crochet. Okay. This is the last one of this row. Join. I'm gonna turn and I'm gonna slip stitch over. So we're gonna have one, two, one, two, three in purple and just one at the top there in yellow. Okay. I'm gonna slip stitch over. We're not increasing. Chain two. Make your three half double crochets. Again. And now let's get our purple in here. Two, three half double crochets. Okay, that was our last purple little block there. And now we just have one to do in yellow, chain two, one, two, three, okay? So we're gonna join, Let's see, look, we're getting tangled here. Try and just untangle as much as you can if it does get tangled up like this. It's really not that bad, actually. Um, join, come on, turn, we're gonna be doing one, two in yellow, one in purple, one, two in yellow. So I'm gonna slip stitch across that top, join to that chain two, chain two and make those three half double crochets. Now we're gonna make, oh, so we're gonna do like we did before. I need one more yellow, but I wanna carry, I wanna carry this strand up because I know I'm gonna to need to use it next and I don't want it sitting over here. I want it over here. Chain two. One, two, three. Okay, drop that. Get my purple. We have one purple to do. Sorry, usually I'm not crocheting right over my piece of paper. <laughs> but for the sake of the video, I am. All right, let's see here. Joining in this yellow. One, two, three. One, two, one, two, and three. Okay. looking so good all right we got to the end let's go back up the other way two in yellow that's our last one in purple and one in yellow I am running out of yarn oh that's too bad I didn't roll my balls back <laughs> oh no you guys all right so we slip stitched up the side let's see if I can get through these two I don't know if I will let's see one do I have enough to do one more Oh, I barely made it. Look, <sighs> that's funny. All right. You know what? I actually just want it yarn chicken because I'll show you why. Two, I just switched to my purple. Now get this. We have our strand here. That was our last purple. So clippity clip, snip that off. Okay, say bye to the purple. Get that untangled. Check this out. You're down to one strand and it's all we're gonna need to finish. So I have one left in this row. 
chain two, one, two, three, join to the top. We're gonna turn and all we're gonna do is you're gonna finish this corner with decreased stitches. So at this point, I don't even really count. You can, if you're a, if you're a newbie at this, I would suggest marking this down like so. You're just gonna do one, two, three. You're gonna go back the other way with one, two, and you're gonna end with one, okay? So here's why I won, because I still have this attached and it's all I need to go all the way down. One, two, three. Attach to the purple. One, two, one, two, three. Attach, chain two. One, two, three. And that was it. Attaching to that last spot. Those are my three little pixel boxes. Turn, slip, slip stitch up the side there. Chain two. This row only has two little boxes to do, so that was one, chain two, one, two, three, join. Dun, da, da, da. We're on our last one, slip stitch over, chain two, two, three, join. And that was it. You are done. Fasten off. You will have some ends to weave in, but check this out, huh? Look what you did. Look what you made. All right. You got your corner to corner crochet tulip. I hope this video helps. I'm going to have um, all the graphs and pattern notes on repeatcrafterme.com. And thank you to Red Heart Yarns for sponsoring this video and post.